Did you know that the health of your mouth could also be affecting the health of your brain and your heart? That's because the bacteria that live in your mouth don't just stay in your mouth. They can also spread to other parts of your body. And they even play a part in things like Alzheimer's. And if you have gum disease, and if you have bleeding gums, the bacteria that are in that gum disease can spread to other parts of your body like your heart. This may sound surprising, but you simply cannot have a healthy body if you do not have a healthy mouth. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is inflammation. Now, inflammation is the number one thing we look for when assessing gum disease. And that's because it's the easiest way to tell if someone has ongoing gum disease. So, inflamed gums look like really puffy and more red and they look like gums that are bleeding a lot more so if you floss and brush your teeth and they bleed a lot or even when we're doing our dental exam and we see that these gums are bleeding a lot that's a huge sign of inflammation you get this inflammation when you have these bacteria and really these bad bacteria because you also have good bacteria in your mouth but these bad bacteria get under your gums and your immune system responds by trying to attack and kill these bacteria so your immune system sees these bacteria as a threat and they start attacking these bacteria and this is what causes all those obvious signs in your gums that your gums are not healthy. Now ideally if gum disease is just starting off then this is completely reversible and the best way to reverse this is improve the oral hygiene so start brushing and flossing but also go to the dentist or the hygienist and get a thorough cleaning so they can kind of scale those areas and really clean away all that bacteria. If this gum disease is pretty mild then usually with proper oral hygiene and just simply going to the dentist, this can be resolved in a couple of weeks. But if this is ignored, if you choose to not go to the dentist or you don't really brush and floss your teeth so well and you keep ignoring it, then over time, this localized inflammation isn't really localized anymore. This inflammation will not just stay in your mouth. It can start spreading to the rest of your body. And it does this by entering your bloodstream. So if this inflammation ends up entering your bloodstream, then your blood, as you know, goes throughout your whole body and it can spread to the rest of your body. And this can raise specific markers in your blood that people look for to assess your heart health and your brain health. And one specific marker this will raise is something called CRP or C-reactive protein. This study actually in the Journal of Clinical Periodontology found that people with severe gum disease have significantly higher CRP levels or C-reactive protein levels. We also know that elevated CRP is a known risk factor for both heart disease and brain inflammation. Now you might be thinking that these are just associations. So just because your gum disease is bad doesn't mean that that's the cause of your elevated CRP. Or the fact that your CRP is high doesn't mean that that's the cause of your heart disease. But in this sense, I think it really shouldn't matter. There's some times where you can neglect a certain association if it doesn't really make any sense. But I think if the mechanism is there and the fact that all you really have to do is just get your gums and your mouth healthy, which overall will still improve your health, then it's not really worth the risk to ignore an association like this when the alternative could be really severe if it's actually true. And now we have more and more data that are backing claims like this up that the health in your mouth will affect the health of the rest of your body. And specifically in this video, I'm focusing on your brain and your heart health. Now the second thing I want to really focus on is your brain and specifically Alzheimer's. Research has found a link between Alzheimer's and a specific bacteria in your mouth called P. gingivalis or in other words Porifiromonas gingivalis. I prefer to just call it P. gingivalis for short. Now this specific bacteria doesn't normally just live in your mouth. It specifically lives in the mouth of people with gum disease. Now this specific study in 2019 in Science Advances found traces of this P. gingivalis bacteria in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. And the mechanism behind this is the exact same as how I talked about before, where the gum disease gets so bad that your gums get so inflamed that this inflammation will spread from your mouth into your bloodstream and then it can spread to your brain and cause this brain inflammation or this neuroinflammation. And this inflammation that happens in your brain, whether or not this P. gingivalis bacteria plays a big part or not, is thought to play a big part in cognitive decline. Now, kind of similar to before when I was talking about inflammation in your body and affecting your heart, Alzheimer's is also a multifactorial thing. So I'm not saying that if you have healthy gums that you're never gonna get Alzheimer's. I don't think anybody in the right mind would say that. But with the disease like Alzheimer's, it progresses so slowly and it doesn't kick in until much later in life. But by the time those Alzheimer's signs really do kick in, there's really nothing you can really do to stop it and it's really hard to even slow it down. So if you're young and healthy and you want to prevent a disease like Alzheimer's, which pretty much everyone should want to do, then one of the simplest things you can do is to have a healthy mouth. Because even if you eat 
some junks and sweets every now and then, it's still really easy to have a healthy mouth. You just have to be a little bit on top of your oral hygiene and then make sure you commit to going to the dentist. Now obviously, there are some things in your diet that you could do to improve the health of your mouth, but regardless, it's still really easy to keep your mouth healthy. Now the next thing I wanna focus on is your heart. Now specifically, heart attacks. There are some pretty shocking studies showing that simply having gum disease can drastically increase your risk of getting a heart attack. The the mechanism that's not behind this is the bacteria that are in your mouth, specifically in gum disease, will not only create this inflammation that will spread to the rest of your body through your bloodstream, but these bacteria can also cling on to these fatty plaques in your arteries. And this can lead to more blockages, which will lead to a heart attack. A study that was published in Circulation even reported that people with advanced gum disease are twice as likely to experience a heart attack as opposed to someone who has a healthy mouth. And as we've shown before, other studies have linked gum disease to heart conditions as well, like heart disease, simply due to the inflammation that gets increased. So again, if you wanna be healthy, it's simply not worth it to neglect the health of your mouth. And I'm not only just talking about improving your oral hygiene and making sure your gums and your teeth are healthy. I'm also talking about if you know that you have gum disease or you have dental problems like cavities and stuff like that, but you continue to ignore them. I see this happen quite a lot where people know they have cavities or gum disease or something, but their main concern is their bad breath. And they'll only really fix these problems if it's gonna improve their breath. Or their main concern is really aesthetics. And they'll only fix these cavities or fix this gum disease if it's gonna make their teeth look whiter. But the problem is that shouldn't be your main focus. What I really hope you take away from this is you really shouldn't ignore any dental problem, especially if it's something that can spread to the rest of your body. But the good news is, like I said, it's really easy to have a healthy mouth, especially if you take action earlier. If you're already super late to taking care of your mouth and you have a bunch of cavities and problems going on, then it's gonna be a little harder and it's gonna take a lot of work by going to the dentist and getting everything corrected first. But if you simply do all the right things like brushing and flossing every day, and also going to your dentist every six months, that alone is gonna put you at a much lower risk for having dental problems and therefore, other problems with your brain and your heart. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked that video and I hope you learned something about how important it is to take care of your mouth and how it doesn't just stop in your mouth and how it really plays a part with the rest of your body. As always, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel below and I'll see you in the next video. Did you know that your chronic headaches, your sinus congestion, or even your gut problems can be caused by your mouth? Today I'm gonna present some unusual signs that actually could be dental related. Your teeth and your gums do more than just help you smile and chew your food. They're still connected to the rest of your body, so having a problem with your 